So you might be in the unfortunate position of having to take care of somebody who got sick with COVID-19. Well, in this video today, I'll give you the top seven tips I recommend of what you can do if you're trying to take care of somebody who's sick. Guys, let's begin. So we're seeing more and more about COVID-19 and some of the effects it's having on people. We're seeing how widespread this virus is. Unfortunately, with how easy it is to spread COVID-19, there are more and more people who are getting sick from this virus. And you may be in a situation where you are taking care of somebody who actually has the sickness from SARS-CoV-2. Here are the seven things that I recommend as a doctor to help out when you're treating somebody who has COVID-19. Number one, the first thing you have to do is please call your doctor. Your doctor is your best friend. Your doctor is your caregiver. And your doctor is going to be the one to help guide in terms of what you can do. They can give you the best information for what the next steps are going to be. Whether it's to stay at home, whether it's to go to the hospital, whether it's to go to the emergency room. They will also know your comorbid conditions and some of the medications you could be on because you may be at a higher risk for having complications, which may necessitate for you to go to the hospital instead. But the first thing you need to do is contact your doctor. The second thing you need to do is that you need to isolate that person who's sick in a separate room, but also in a separate restroom as well. That person cannot mingle with anybody else because there is a chance they can get other people infected, but also they have to have their own restroom. There is some evidence to suggest that SARS-CoV-2 the virus that causes COVID-19 can stay on surfaces, including plastic, door handles, and metal from hours up to even days. And so you want to do the best that you can to separate that person, not only physically, but also making sure they have a separate restroom. The worst thing that you can do is have somebody stay apart, but have a communal restroom where they can get other people accidentally sick. Number three, you have to disinfect the surfaces that you touch as often as you can. I know it's going to be a pain, but this is going to be the best way to make sure the virus is not attached on those surfaces. Like I mentioned before, there is good evidence to suggest that the virus can stay on surfaces for quite some time. And the more that you disinfect and clean and wash things off, the more likely it's going to be for the virus to not be attached there and therefore not get other people sick. Disinfect, 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 and disinfect some more. Number four, this is kind of obvious, but avoid sharing things with them. And this includes everything, utensils, comb, shampoo, clothes, hairpins, things that you normally would share with other family members, you have to make sure you keep that separate. Don't share anything. Have that person who's sick have their own items that they keep to themselves and the rest of the house have everything that's separated. You don't want to intermingle or commingle anything at all. Number five, I would recommend for you to wear gloves whenever you're handling their laundry. There are some reports of the virus being spread via airborne. And if you have their laundry and you're handling it and there's viruses that are on there and you end up shaking up those laundry baskets, that may be a way for you to spread the virus. So make sure you wear gloves to protect yourself and to protect the people who you love. Number six, I'm gonna continue saying this, wash your hands. Wash them all the time. Keep on washing, keep on washing, keep on washing. Use soap, use water, use those 20 seconds. You cannot wash your hands enough. If you think back and you're not sure if you wash them, Go ahead and do it again. If you're not sure if your hands are clean, wash them one more time. If you touched a surface, wash them again. Guys, this is literally the best way for us to prevent the virus from affecting you. What happens when you wash your hand is that your soap buds actually destroy the virus and gets rid of it away from your body. The issue becomes if you don't wash your hands and you accidentally touch your nose, your mouth or your eyes, that virus will attach to the mucous membranes inside your whole body. And by going to your mucous membranes, it will go into the cells, start to proliferate and multiply. And you'll see this virus everywhere, attacking all sorts of parts of your body, especially the parts including the lungs, the heart, and your GI tract. And by you washing your hands, you minimize the chance of that virus going to the areas of your body where it can do the most damage. And number seven, if you have a face mask, ask them to wear it. The whole point of a face mask 
is not to necessarily protect you, but to protect you from getting other people sick. So if somebody has COVID-19 and they wear a face mask that puts up a barrier to prevent the spread of the virus, either through talking, coughing, or sneezing. <coughs> hachu, hachu, hachu. Talk, talk, talk. And by having that barrier up there, this decreases the chance of causing the spread of the virus and getting you or somebody who you love sick. But guys, these are the seven things that I recommend as a doctor to protect yourself if you have somebody who may be sick with COVID-19. My question of the day for you guys, what questions or recommendations do you have if someone gets sick? Comment down below. I love to hear what you guys have to say. I want to thank you for watching this video. If you want to know if your pets can give you COVID-19, click over here. Or if you want more information on how long COVID-19 or the SARS-CoV-2 virus can see on services, click over here. But guys, stay happy and stay healthy. But unfortunately, there are a lot of people who are getting sick who may not realize... Oh wait, that's totally messed, it. messed that up. Let me try it again. Unfortunately, with how common people are... They can give you the best information for the, what the... They can give you the best... They can give you the best information for what the next sex... God. That person cannot mingle with anybody else with... God. So when somebody who's sick, they're gonna have the normal human fun... Sorry.